All right, guys, what other than a better time to talk about our new seat than right when it hits 500 miles? Leaving to work, I realize that the bike has, I mean, it's a little bit over 500 miles, is ready for its new update, and it definitely has gotten better. So we're gonna check our lights, make sure everything works. Everything's all put back together nice, looks great. The bike has a whole bunch of water blotches since it downpoured on my way or at, during my stay at work. Quite a bit of ways to, from work. I figured on the way home, I'll just do this little video. We'll see how the quality comes out with the mic and the lights and go from there. Let's run over Victor. The bike seat is so much better. It went from being very uncomfortable that I had second thoughts about getting something else. I even looked into maybe buying like a different seat, like a LaPera kickflip or a, uh, a Corbin seat that pretty much is the same style as what you see now on the bike with it being a uh, a two-step seat with you know that that hard slash like 90 degrees edge let's just stick it out we'll put the miles on the bike and see if it gets better and let me tell you this seat is so much better it's like a completely different bike um, now also I I did do uh, shocks on the bike so obviously that could definitely have a big change on it too but pretty much all the miles that I, I put on it was uh, with everything together so it was uncomfortable from the start now it's much much better now let's just do the uh, pros first so one of the the biggest pros is uh, when I get in get on the bike uh, I'm just planted and it it feels great I feel like I'm not gonna fall off off the bike I had a solo seat and I had a, a banana two up seat that really didn't feel all that great I wasn't a, a, a huge fan of it. Every time I would get on the bike, I could feel the back end of my butt just kind of just slide right off, and I, I really did not like that. A big game changer to throw this seat on. Another thing that I like about it, the padding that they use on this bike is really, really good. The Sportster isn't really something you would want to go on long rides with. At least that's what I've come to my conclusion with. I, I definitely felt like it could have been a toss-up of me getting a different bike or just throwing the money into this to uh, make it more more comfortable but you know the 450 bucks that I uh, that, that I paid for this is uh, it's game changer worn in and like the leather isn't pushed down everything worn in and adjusted and you know the miles put on it just definitely feels like a way better seat I feel that uh, I can go on a longer ride I felt like in the first 20 minutes when I first got it it was horrible. I really just wasn't a fan of the seat. I loved the way that it looked, but I was really looking for a, a different option. But needless to say, the premium gel padding that they use in, like, in this seat is just second to none. After putting like 450 miles on it, I was like, man, this is starting to feel much better. Uh, I was worried about not driving no more than like 30 minutes on this bike prior, maybe 40 without you know the back end of me and my lower back getting like really really cramped up to I technically drive exactly one hour which is like 64 miles one way to work and I feel pretty good um, the only fatigue that I have is really in, in, in my hands but obviously with you seeing you know the, the uh, ape hangers I'm gonna have that but as far as like my back pain and stuff like that I really haven't noticed anything out, out of the ordinary and I think that that is just so crucial and just so lightning to let you guys know that you know spending the money on the seat is really really gonna um, impact uh, a lot especially for your budget um, for your overall build um, this is one on one of them the more pricier I would say uh, accessories that you can get for your bike I really wanted this bike to be as comfortable as, as it could be and it's really not it's not where I want it to be because it's not like a bagger or like a soft tail to where it has like inverted forks and a very very much more comfortable ride but it has that that unique uh, feel to it now that is not like 50% better but it's like 90% better than where the bike was when I when I first got it 
those are really like my biggest pros is just that it's just it's well worth every penny that you're gonna spend on it the cons that i do have for it is obviously the price the price is a you're either willing to spend or you're not um, for that that comfortability or style or whatever you're trying to do like like this is more of like a stunt bike or a stunt seat where you know if you were to have like drag bars or whatever you could do a wheelie and stuff like that and it'll plant you but it still serves the same purpose for a longer ride or even a two up i had my I had my fiance on the back of this and uh we went to go get some ice cream now obviously the back isn't going to be as comfortable as the front because the back hasn't seen many miles but from what she has been on in the past she even has her own bike and you know her, her own two up seats and stuff like that she said that it really wasn't that bad so just the factor of spending you know almost 500 dollars after shipping is it's crucial that's really my only gripe about it as far as some of the fitment things um if you watch my install video which is obviously this is the continuation of it the only other thing that i, I really could complain about um but it wasn't really uh my my problem is but like everyone else that i've seen to look up reviews on and stuff like that that type of bolts or i don't even know what you want to call it maybe rivets that they use to um, attach the, the leather to the seat they say that the that they rub into the paint of your fenders and stuff now I don't know if I'm gonna have that issue I said uh, in my previous video I'm not gonna do anything about it since I did just put brand new fenders and stuff on this bike um, I might in the future you know relatively soon change that you know put some stuff over like maybe some pieces of rubber you know with like some double-sided tape or just something just so it won't ruin my paint job but like i said this is a, a seat that i've wanted for a long time yeah it, it, it's just overall just a great seat i i really couldn't be happier now obviously like i i did mention um i did put shocks on the bike so that's obviously going to do a number on um the comfortability too but just coming from the, the standpoint of the seat and the seat only i feel like it's worth every penny um in my review